M0 FXP Hamtech. Quick link here to the Radtel RT580 triple screen GPS Bluetooth radio that I'm testing at the moment. So I've just clicked the download. So go to this link here, radtel.com software. Scroll to the bottom and there's only one link that I'm seeing at the moment. I've been trying to find the firmware, but it's definitely got the programming software here. Just click that. It downloads here. Click that. Let's have a quick look at what we get. I'm literally doing this live. So, yeah, so looking at it, it's just the software at the moment, not seeing firmware. But we'll run that through English. Next, next, next. Keep going. Next. Now, I did get the programming lead for this. Now, it's a single pin lead, which is unexpected. We'll open that up. Click the start. And looks pretty much like all the other software for these sort of color, color screen Radtel radios. So let's just click the connect the lead. Take the side off. Just a single screw here. And then the lead, just so you can see, it looks like it goes, it's, it's the 2.5, it looks like it goes in the microphone socket, I would say. So there's your lead. So you can see it. Okay, quite tight that screw was. But anyway, you always lo lose these side things. I'm going to plug it into the smaller hole. Like so, because it won't go in the other one because it's too big. Right, and then plug that into my PC. I think I'll test it with my all-in-one cable as well in a sec. But first of all, the lead is in. Right-click your Windows down here at the bottom. Device Manager. Check the COM. And, hmm, there it is there. Prolific, PL203GC. And it's given us 52. Wow, what a number. So anyway, let's see if that works. Sometimes you do have to change the numbers. It doesn't like the high numbers sometimes. We'll, we'll test it. So COM at the top here. Click that. There is a delay. And then look, 52 is showing. Click OK. And then we'll go read. Hmm not working at the moment someone is speaking so what I'll do I'm going to change that com number so the way you have to do it is go device manager and I'll make sure that no one's talking as well because sometimes if it communicates and it's in a, in you know someone's talking let me just quickly just check check it again set communication I mean, it's a nice looking radio. I'm not sure if it's finished yet, but click OK and then read. No, not at the moment. Right click, device manager. Then go to comms. Now, I've got so many. What I do is I have to go to view show hidden devices choose one with a low number that i'm not using right now so i can do this gd32 the seven one for now click it right click and go uninstall so i know that's number seven you know i can use it so it's uninstalled that so then i can go back to the the one i was trying to find so right click device manager Double click, go to the 52 one, right click, properties, port settings, advanced, go to advanced here, and see the way it says 52. Now, when I do a drop down, it should allow me to use seven, which it will, but it only allow it once though, which is quite annoying, I have to keep doing it, but I need to delete all those comms. If anyone knows how to quickly delete them all, let me know. Click okay, 
So now it will come back that we're using seven. Okay, now let's do it now. I'll go program, uh, set, just quickly set communication port. And I found this with the firmware as well on other items, although I can't find firmware for this item. So at the moment it's not showing seven. So what I might do is close and reopen the software. Let's go right click, device manager. Definitely seven is there. So let's just close it and then open the shortcut with like a little yellow one, like so. All right, it goes set com. Hopefully, it will show seven this time. Hmm, no seven. Let's unplug it and plug it back in. Device manager. Still seven there. Flashing a bit, isn't it? Not really sure why. Give it a wiggle. Right, stop flashing now. Uh, program set. Not going well so far. Ah, seven. Click OK. We are trying. Read. Read. Ta da! So that's that solved. Keep your com really below 10. I haven't put anything in this yet. So I'm gonna, but I am gonna do that now. I know it's pick, it's actually picking up airbound now. Don't know if you heard that. I'll turn it off a bit, but that was an aeroplane flying over. So regarding airbound, I would say it's still a bit. I think there needs some work doing on the airbound. I feel that it's a bit um, distorted sounding. So they need to sort that out. And then we'll test the 10 watts eventually. In a minute we'll do that. So let's just add a couple of repeaters. So it saves me using doing it on the radio. Because I've noticed on the radio you can add memories quite easily. You just go, I think I'll do a separate video, but you can do it from the front panel, yeah? So I'm sort of lent over at the moment. Let's just do it with the software. So at the moment, I can just quickly add, change that name to Hubnet. Hubnet. Ah, it's only allowing five characters. Let's try here. GB3WR. So frequency is 145.600. And receive 145 or transmit dot zero zero zero. And the tone, we only want transmit we don't want decode see the way it says decode at the top we just want it to be on transit so that should be off but on this on the transmit see what it says encode we want that on okay and um, i'll leave a high power on my repeater put the name in we can choose wide let's do another one that i like 430.925 Move this down just to make sure you're not missing anything. This is how Steven Spielberg does it. Please remember that I'm learning in front of you. I'm definitely not teaching. I get so many questions. You did this wrong, you did that wrong. I know. That's because I'm learning in front of people, not actually teaching. Right. Okay, 430925 and then 438.525, that's GB3FI, again set that to off, and then set um, to 77 tone, 
put the name in as well. I mean, it's working the same as any other software, db3fi. Go underneath, I'll put in my other node, which is 434.550. If you haven't got an all-star node, one million percent get one, 434.550. And um, there's a couple of really good people making them. You've got Bill on eBay, and you've got g7rpg at hotmail.com um, on... Um, just email direct and hubnet is the place to be so off 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 tone same frequency and this is I call this one hubnet one but it won't let me so I just go hub n one it's a shame we only does those you know but then on this one it's showing longer characters let's just try and type it hubnet one. Oh, that one worked. So why didn't the first one do it? Hubnet. And that would be, I would call that three. Yeah, it's working now. It's better. More digits now. Hubnet one, hubnet three. And I've actually got a hubnet two as well. Yeah. Hubnet. I call it four, this one, because it's the frequency is 434.400. That's how I remember. 434.400. Four hundred. Uh, no tone, uh, and then we we'll go to well. There, no tone on receive, but transmit there is. Power. I'll set all them to low because I'll be in my actual house when using the nodes. They're basically boxes that link your radios to the internet, basically. Um, low. Okay, that's that, and then. The next one would be, I would say, 145.212. That's a hubnet repeater. 145.212. Actually, it's 2125. 145.2125. You don't put a dot there on that. And then, again, turn that to off. Tone is 94.8, and that's actually called GB... Now, MB7, I think it's ISW, SW, okay? That's that, and then we'll do GB3BC, that's off, but the tone for that is 94.8, so it's a repeater, GB3BC. And then we'll go GB3BC. Now you probably can import files. I think that's enough to show you how to do it. Then we'll just quickly look at the different settings. Now remember, you can save, so let's just quickly save something. 580, save. Uh, machine info. And I have got the GPS model, and it and the Bluetooth works quite well, and the GPS works good. You just type in, um, hold down the star, and you get your GPS. If you briefly press it, I think you get the, I'm trying to remember that, yeah, the frequency scan sort of option. It will pick up the frequencies, you know, nearby. Click OK. Oh, I don't want to clear that. I've just done that. Should we quickly write that to the radio before I lose it all? Write to interphone. Right, and that's working, and the LEDs flashing on top. That's good, and it reboots by the looks of it. Welcome. And if I just hold down the red button to just, oh no, we've got a, high, uh, um, a memory channel highlighter at the top. If you don't know how to do it, you just go pr briefly press the red button, moves you up, then hold it. And you're going to what they call channel mode, okay? If you hold it again, see the way it's showing the channel, but it's, it's, it's a number. I think we need to tell that in the settings to show the name. So, and also that we're on, what number are we on there? I can't really see very clearly. 29, we haven't got a memory that high, have we? So let's just hold it down till we get to where we have set names. Yeah, and you can see that there is a name there. 
It does do dual receive, but it's only going to receive one at a time. But I would say that it's not doing dual receive. It's actually doing triple receive, but only one at a time. So click close. Let's look at the last few settings. Optional features. Squelch, light control, voice, auto, just standard really, timeout, beep. Roger, and then you've got what you want the long and short buttons to do. So these are your options. I think scan's quite a good one. FM. I still feel like the AM's not quite there yet. Well, we've got to change that scan one to, if you just turn, change it to tone, yeah. Click OK. Uh, let's have a look. A, B channel, so I would say that's what it turns on at. I, I'll leave it where it is. I could put in my, my transmit tone, I suppose. Ah, see, so in your VFO, you can actually set a plus and a minus. So we'll go minus, uh, leave it on power, and the offset is actually just put a little six there. So that means that'll work without having to be in memory mode. Then we've got air band here. Um, tone, we need to put a tone on, don't we? On. Really? Is that tone? QTD key. I'm not sure if that's tone or not. Uh, BFO and channel. So we can actually t tell it to do both. Or I'll just t tell it to do, just see what happens. Click OK. So, and then we got FM, that's your broadcast radio. Memories, 94 dot. 300 is radio one. You've got quite a few there that you can store. Forbid receive, what's that all about? Uh, work mode, I'll just leave it a channel for now. Okay. GPS, yeah, I've already turned all that on and it does work, works quite well. Communication about just trying to find all the other settings, but that looks like that's it. Right, we've got read, save, quick save. Let's call it quick save. And it's saving it in the same place. Read and write. So we'll send that to the radio. So I think that's as much as we can do. Firmware-wise, with this model, it tends to be when you're running the firmware software, which I'm sure they're gonna bring out some new software, it tends to be you turn it off and on, and um, as you turn it back on, the firmware starts to load. Similar software. Actually, I never looked to see if you can add a photograph. And if you could, no. Can't see that you can add a photograph about. Yeah, we've done that. So the software I've got is 0 0.2. Maybe there's newer, newer. Because it is a proper little TV screen. So I would say it, it could add a photograph. We just don't know how. Not seeing anything there. Machine info. Read, write, edit. Optional features. If you were going to add a photograph, you need a place where you can bring in the file. I can't see that it's there at the moment. So I think they've got some work to do. I think it's a bit overpriced myself. It's about 130 delivered. It's, you know, you've got radios that are very near this that are under 50. Dual receive. They have GPS. The one thing they do give you though is they give you a, a little small Bluetooth headset. Looks virtually identical to the one that you get with the the new Alens HD1, and it does work, and I've tested it, and the PTT does work. Got a couple of, on the side there, you've got the PTT volume up and down, on, off. I, I, I The thing I'm gonna try in a sec is that is I'm going to try and see if I can get it to just pair to any old speaker and uh, and also test the power, but I think I'll do that in a separate video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.